Hi, my name is Nora McCarthy, and I'm the director of RISE, an advocacy organization for parents impacted by the child welfare system. I've worked with parents and youth impacted by the child welfare system for the past 20 years. I'm speaking with you today because in New Jersey, the Department of Children and Families responded to the COVID pandemic by cutting off all in-person visits between parents and children who are in foster care. That's been almost three months for all of us in New Jersey to have limited contact with one another. That's obviously for safety reasons, but even the governor's orders have not revoked the ability of young people in foster care to see their parents. Yet the Department of Children and Families has instituted that as policy. And even as our cities and state have reopened, that has not changed. The Reunified Youth Foster Project is a group of young people who have been in foster care and have returned home and are willing to share their experiences to educate professionals in the system to do a best job by families. I hope that you enjoy this video by these young people who tell you in their own words why reunification matters so much and why we need to open our state for visiting. For these young people, and children in foster care generally, getting home is the most important thing. And as you all know from this pandemic, a return to normal is what we all wish for in a crisis. So I hope that you can hear their stories and listen, heed their words, and change this policy. I've recently learned due to COVID-19 that there are no in-person visits for parents or children. I know this is an uncertain time for everyone and no one knows where things are headed at the moment, but no in-person visits for parents or children, in my opinion, is absolutely horrible. For us as children, those visits were the highlights of our time apart. We would talk about the past visits until the next one. And I understand this is a really hard time for in-person visits, but whether it's a visit that parents and children have to pra like have to practice social distancing and wear masks, I think it's critical to allow these visits. It's important to understand that um, children and parents are gonna be happy regardless of if they have to stay six feet away or put a mask on. It's the thought of having a genuine time to spend with your parent or child. Parents really need those, children, children especially really need those. They need to know their parents okay. They need to see them. They need to spend time with them. They need to have, they need to have that connection with them, that in-person connection. I wanna to talk to you guys about why I feel like it's really important to reunify with your family, especially during coronavirus. Most people aren't even like familiar with things like how things are getting shut down and what's going on and stuff like that, especially the youth. They're gonna wanna be with family that they feel like they can be safe with, that they feel like they can lean on and stuff. I feel like you don't know um, exactly who you might lose at what time. And it's really important to spend the time that you have, just make the most of it with the family that you love, you know, the family that you got, it's the only family you got. I was put into the foster care system around 13. I was in that system for two years, but it felt like an infinite amount of time. Reunification is what I wished for during my time in foster care. It was painful being separated from my siblings, my mother, and it hurt me trying to hold on to that hope that I had of being reunified with my family. I was in a state of what I can only really say is a depression or a low point. I was constantly confused and worried and just hoping that my siblings were safe and that they didn't experience the same abusive actions that I was experiencing in my foster household. Um, I was also worried about my mother and her health because I felt like nobody was trying to give her any mental or financial help to get away from my stepfather. I fear that with the no in-person visits, children will be subjected to abuse in their foster homes. Um, because of my own experience, I feel children during this pandemic will be heavily mentally and emotionally affected and it might cause some unusual separation behaviors. This will also take a toll on parents because they will not have the physical or emotional security of seeing and hugging their children and if I was in their shoes that would break me. 
it's been a few years since I've been reunified with my family. And for me, reunification means to finally feel comfortable again, to be able to enjoy my mother's food, to be able to completely express myself and just to totally be free. It feels like total freedom. It was great to finally be around people who understood me and understood my situation and people who I know I can rely on and who I will always love. Um, we're in the middle of a world crisis and that already is traumatizing. So for children to be going through separation right now of people who they love and who they're comfortable with and they can't be with those people right now that is truly horrifying and that is truly upsetting i feel like they should not at all be delaying reunifications i feel like delaying reunifications for children is going to hit young teens and children harder on an emotional level and mental level than people realize and this should not be happening at all um i feel like parents need to see their kids and kids need to see their parents and if we could make that happen that would definitely be a step forward in the right direction